that's almost triple the fundraising of its first Asia fund. Yeah, and get this, almost 100% of the investors in the first Asia fund have rolled over and want to be in this new second Asia fund. Uh, Blackstone says it raised $6.4 billion from investors and will receive an extra $4.6 billion from its global fund. It reported earnings last week. As you can see, the stock shot up. Uh, they were lured, these investors, by the consistent returns in Asia, the geographic diversification, and an increased focus on the environment and social governance, according to Blackstone's Asia head of private equity. And you're looking at the one-year chart there. Uh, the first 11 months of 2021, a great time to be a Blackstone investor. Uh, in the stock, at least, it shot up 120 percent before dropping off in December and into uh, early 2022. Uh, Blackstone, by the way, has invested $20 billion worth of deals in Asia since 2018, while the first Asia private equity fund is quite India heavy. The second will have a mix of investment across Asia Pacific. It's currently working on three advanced deals in Australia, Japan, and India. It's doing due diligence on a Chinese consumer company, as well as a Korean firm. And the big investment comes despite increasing risk from inflation and geopolitical tension. And while global markets, as we've seen, really have come down in recent weeks, there's a view that the sell-off could present a very good time to step in for investors who are flush with cash. As the year unfolds, Blackstone says it expects to see very attractive opportunities in many of these cities in the Asia Pacific and the deals that they now offer. And Sue, Blackstone says it's closing in on a big milestone, a trillion dollars in assets under management. Yeah, they had hoped to hit that by 2026. It now looks like they're going to hit that a lot sooner. As I mentioned, they reported earnings late last week. President John Gray, uh, in an interview with Bloomberg, pointed out that they hauled in a record $155 billion in the fourth quarter, putting them at $881 billion under management and a lot closer to that goal of managing a trillion by 2026. That was the original goal. There are some now saying they could hit it four years earlier or later this year. Um, also good news, it's distributable earnings rose 55 percent to a record 2.3 billion in the fourth quarter. They had 1.8 billion in fee-related earnings, best performance in their history, Gray said. Uh, he also warned investors to brace for a slowdown in deal activity in tech and fast-growing companies. Uh, the market repricing, he says, is a result result of what we've seen uh, with the volatility in the market. Uh, that's an understatement, I, I would say, but the volatility we've seen in the market in early 2022. But in all, a very exciting announcement regarding its fundraising. Back to you.